Hey everybody, this is Crypto's Rest Plus and my name is Noah. In today's video, I want to discuss several critical technical levels that could determine Bitcoin and crypto's fate for the summer. In last week's video, I discussed my summer sell-off thesis along with reasons why I'm medium-term bearish following a rejection of 71.5k resistance. The medium-term bearish thesis follows a short-term bullish thesis up from 60,000. And as I explained last week, I expect this thesis to play out over 30 to 60 days or so, taking us all the way into August, potentially dragging Bitcoin's price down into this zone between 62.5 and 52.5 on the Bitcoin day daily chart. However, since last week, Bitcoin has put in a significant rally bouncing off of support here amidst significantly oversold conditions. However, zooming in closer on lower time frame charts, you can see that Bitcoin is now once again running into this key resistance level here at 71.5k, which could result in a significant breakout if Bitcoin is able to close daily candles above this level. Zooming in, you can see how close Bitcoin is to breaking through this level. And if it does, the probability significantly increase that Bitcoin will test the previous highs at 74k, potentially invalidating the summer sell-off thesis. Although Bitcoin is very close to invalidating the thesis here with a move above 71.5, I'm personally not giving up on it yet as I expect 71.5 to hold firm as resistance just as it did in late May, potentially sending Bitcoin's price back down towards the lower extremities of the range. Now that you guys know how I'm approaching the Bitcoin chart as an analyst, I would like to show you how I'm approaching this scenario as a trader. Because Bitcoin is running into a significant technical level here, it provides us an opportunity for a high risk to reward trade with a stop loss that is hidden behind a key technical barrier. Zooming in even closer on the chart, you can see that although it seems like a bad or reckless decision to short Bitcoin this close to all-time highs, it actually provides an exceptionally clean setup because you know exactly where you are wrong. If Bitcoin shoots through the 71.5k resistance and moves towards its all-time high, the summer sell-off thesis is very likely incorrect and Bitcoin could explode even higher towards 80k over the summer. However, if the thesis is correct, the small amount of risk here is offset by the high reward of Bitcoin reversing off of resistance before drifting back down towards its local lows. Like Bitcoin, despite displaying some exceptionally bullish price action over the past several weeks, Ethereum is now running into a high time frame resistance level on the weekly chart. And again, like Bitcoin, I would say the upcoming resistance level could be the line in the sand for the summer sell-off thesis. Ethereum is able to clear this level here, closing daily candles above 3950 the probability significantly increase that it will test its local highs and head even higher in the $5,000 range. Additionally, switching over to the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, which shows Ethereum's valuation measured in Bitcoin terms, you can see that Ethereum Bitcoin is at a critical inflection point just as it was four years ago in early 2020. In previous cycles, once Ethereum Bitcoin cleared the 200 moving average here, Ethereum and altcoins then went on to outperform perform Bitcoin for the rest of the cycle, which is why we use the Ethereum Bitcoin chart as a gauge for risk on sentiment in the market, helping to determine whether or not we are going to see a full-blown alt season or whether or not we will have to wait a little longer. In previous videos, I have once again declared the 200 moving average as a critical level that Ethereum Bitcoin chart must clear before we see a full-blown alt season. However, in the past, we have seen several instances where Ethereum climbs just above the 200 moving average for a fake out before falling back below it and setting new lows as you can see in each of these examples circled on the chart because the ethereum bitcoin chart is prone to these fake outs above the 200 moving average before setting new lows i have drawn 0.06 as the line in the sand which ethereum must clear for us to know for certain that this is not just another fake out switching over to the daily time frame you can see that it does in fact look like a fake out so far as ethereum only quickly deviated above the 200 as it has done in the past and is now headed right back for the 200, suggesting that the risk on appetite in the market since the Ethereum ETF approval may have been a fake out and that the Ethereum Bitcoin chart is still in danger of setting new lows before finally sustainably breaking above the 200, igniting the alt season that everybody is waiting for. Finally, one more thing I want to show you guys on the bearish side, since I've already made quite a few bearish statements, we might as well go all in here. I've already gone over with you guys the similarities between the two 
2019 move up to 13k and the current Bitcoin move up to 74k. While the similarities are mostly macro related concerning the Federal Reserve's rate cut cycle, I have just noticed that if you take the daily candles from the 2019 move from the high at 13,000 and you match it up with the current day Bitcoin price, we are seeing a fairly similar move. Not exactly a one for one comparison, but if you line the candles up, you can see that it went down up down to the lows up to the highs for a fake out essentially what the summer sell-off thesis suggests will happen reaching as low as 52k which coincidentally is a significant support level here which could hold up and serve as a platform for the next bull market if such a scenario were to play out so to summarize the short-term bearish thesis is on the verge of being invalidated with a move above 71.5k on the bitcoin chart a move above 3915 on the ethereum daily chart and daily candle closes above 0.06 on the ethereum bitcoin chart speaking of trading if you are interested in joining the chart storm trading group by cryptos or us you can apply to the group by clicking on a link provided in the description below and when it goes live you will be the first to know all that you need to join the group is an active bitunix account and to be subscribed to Cryptos R Us Plus. If you do not yet have a BitUnix account, you can use a link provided in the description below to sign up and receive a bonus. Additionally, if you like today's analysis and would like to go more in depth, please consider signing up for the Cryptos R Us Patreon by visiting patreon.com slash cryptos R Us. Other than that, I hope everybody has a great weekend and I will see all of you back here next week for more charts and analysis. Thanks for watching everybody.